My name is Martin Butler. I lecture Operations and Information Systems Management. The technology has transformed the business world around us. If we look at um, the business, any business we are today, whether it be education or manufacturing services, any agricultural component, um, technology has really changed the operations environment completely. So in the business school we've um, did something fairly innovative to combine information systems and operations management. We combine the two subject areas. The combination of information systems management and operations management is unique to the USB MBA. When we redesigned our MBA about three years ago, we had a look at the different subjects. It was very important for us to have integrated teaching and lecturing. And um, we decided that even though um, some of our competitors and some of the global schools have one department where they have operations management and information systems co-located in the department, we actually combined the two subjects. So you will find that in the classroom students still have an information systems management textbook and an operations management textbook, but we do our best to get the two subject areas to integrate and to show how technology is used in the operations environment. So it's definitely unique to the USB. Operations management as a subject area um, is not easy to lecture. The operations for a small business, a small services firm versus a massive manufacturing firm or an agricultural firm or a huge manufacturer is completely different. So you would find students in the classroom and while you lecture about operations management, um, their own contextualization is, is completely different. So you will actually find students coming into the classroom from different backgrounds um, wondering how they will relate to the subject area. So we spend a fair amount of time early in the course to, to make it genetic, to explain to them that it doesn't matter whether you're managing the operations of a mine, um, of a small services firm with three employees, um, or of a farm somewhere, um, there are generic operations performance objectives. And we spend an ample amount of time to explain that um, it doesn't matter which business you are from, um, you will always try to do certain things, increase quality or find the optimum level of quality, reduce cycle times, um, and those things are, are generic through any kind of business. And once you've established that, once the students understand that they have the same challenges, although the con context of their challenges are completely different, um, there's lovely value-adding discussions that is unlocked in classroom. You would find people from completely different backgrounds um, engaging in interesting discussions about uh, how they're trying to achieve the same thing, but a completely different way. So that's a, a rather important concept for us. And then um, I think our point of departure in operations and information systems management is always the customer. So we find that this, uh, the subject links extremely strong into the marketing. And um, I've even had a student that said to me, sometimes I didn't know whether an operations or information systems class or a marketing class. And I see that as a compliment because ultimately the operations management, the information systems exist to delight the customer. And, and when, when especially IT becomes a function on its own and when they try to serve their own purposes and they lift their eyes away from the customer, you have a problem in your business. I like the field of information systems management because it's always in flux, it's always changing. Whenever I walk into a classroom and I'm going to lecture about artificial intelligence, knowledge management, enterprise systems, there's always students in the class that work in that field. There's always new developments. Um, I'm always awake at night reading the latest from the MITs and the technology reviews. It's a subject area that's actually taxing on the lecturer because you have to be up to date with the latest things, but that's fascinating. I love that. I absolutely enjoy um, being on the edge of what is happening in technology, and I love the fact that the students actually push me and that the students contribute in the classroom as well. So it's a, it's a vibrant, it's a lively, um, it's in, in a subject area that I'm passionate about. I really, really enjoy it. It is very important for us to make the subject practical. Um, it's, a, it's a subject area that lends itself to being applied immediately within the business environment. And early on in the subject, we explained that operations management together with marketing is core functions within the business world. In the technology side, it's quite interesting. Sometimes you have students that's already passionate about technology and they love it. You have other students that you can see their fingers trembling when they open their textbooks. They, they are really scared about technology. So for them, we try to put them at ease, show them the power of technology, and then we give them assignments and we give them practical um, case studies or even group assignments to go and do and to find out what technology can actually do in their business environment. Mm -hmm.